Hi everyone, Dajia Hao. Uh, my name is Jake Gill, director of Scooter, and today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit um, in this tutorial video about how lists work on Scooter, um, how to get them into our study queue, uh, how to search for them, and how to create our own from scratch. At the end of the tutorial, I'll talk about some advanced settings um, for lists and how to control them inside of your account. So let's get started. I'm here with a fresh account. So you'll see that I do not have any lists on the dashboard. I also have no items to review in my study queue. So let's go ahead and change that. Click on browse lists. What this is gonna do is pull up all of Squitter's published lists. Um, you'll find things in here like textbook lists, um, our Squitter Chinese 101 list, which is just an introductory list, HSK lists, radical lists, things like this. They've all been approved by Squitter. Um, so if your textbook is on our service, it will be in here. So let's go ahead and search here. We can type by title, integrated Chinese, for example. That will pull up all of the lists that are integrated Chinese. You can also see published lists here. This is lists that users have created. Um, you'll see the title of the list, the creator, the date it was published. And we can add any of these lists to our study queue whenever we want just by pressing this button. If you're a Chinese pod member, you can subscribe, um, enter your account details here and log in, and that will load up any Chinese pod lists that are published so you can study them in Scritter. You can also view your deleted lists um, here as well. Now, this is a fresh account, so I don't have any. So let's go ahead and add a list to our study queue. So we'll go back to browse lists, and I'm interested in integrated Chinese, very popular textbook. And so I'll find the one that works for me. I'm looking for level one, part one, third edition, and I press add to queue. Now we'll see the status is studying. If we go to our study queue, we'll see it right here. This is where Squitter is pulling words from for you to study uh, when you use the study button. If we want to add another list or search for something that we've made, maybe we're interested in computers. So we can search that computer terms, computer, internet and computer vocabulary. We can add any of these in if there's interesting. And again, that will appear in the study queue. Now, if we wanted to create a list from scratch, and this can be very useful if you have an assignment coming up soon or you want a focused list, um, or say a teacher brings something up in class that you find interesting, we can hit this create a new list button and we can give our list a name, sample list, and we'll add a description. Press the create list button. And now we have our sample list. We'll see that it is made by us. There are no words in it and we can see our description right here. We can change the photo of the list over here. Um, we'll notice that the status is not studying. That's because we haven't added it to the queue yet. But before we do that, let's make some words or add some words into it. So our first section here of the list is already created for us. Um, but if we wanted to add more sections, say that you are entering a textbook um, or chapters for a book or something, you would hit the add section button as many times as you need. And when we're done, we'll press save. And now all of our sections are there. And if we wanna add words into the sections, we just click here and this will load up our section editor. We press our edit button and now we're ready to start inputting words. You have two different options on Scritter. The first option is to use a Chinese input method. So pinyin simplified, for example. Um, and we can just type a Chinese word in that we want and find the characters for it. So if we wanted to do the Chinese language Zhongwen, for example, we would type in Zhongwen, hit enter, and it will add that word quickly to the list. Mei Guo, for example, it'll add that to the list. Here you'll see the simplified version of the writing. You'll see the traditional version. If there is a variant displayed here, we have the reading of the word. Uh, or character and the definitions. Now the other way that we can search for a word inside of Squitter is by typing the pinyin and the tone for it. So if we don't have a way to enter um, characters on our keyboard or if we're not sure of which character is but we know the pronunciation, we can use that to search for the word. So let's use an example like sh with the fourth tone. 
，你是美国人吗的事。Um, so now the word is loaded up. We'll see the reading. We'll see the definition. If the word is not actually what you're looking for, if there are multiple characters with the same pronunciation or multiple words with the same pronunciation, you'll see an all results button here on the right hand side. If we click this, we will see all the different characters that have the same pronunciation as the one that we entered, and we can select one of them. That is the one that we need. So let's say we wanted actually the second shi,、uh, for example. So we could select this one, and that would appear. Now, the only other thing that we can do here is if we wanted to type multiple words at once, for example, in one, in guo, zhong guo, and after each word is entered with the characters. Or with the pinyin, we can press a space bar and then we hit enter, and it will find our words for us and add them in. If we want to remove the word from the list, we just press that delete button and it goes away. And once we're all done, we press save, and the words are there for us. Now we can go back to our list, and we will see that the words are in the section. And obviously, we can add more words to more sections. We can go back and edit the section by just using the edit button. That will allow us to remove or add new words as we see fit. And once we're done with all of that, we can go ahead, if we'd like to, and press the add to queue button. What this does now is, if we go back to lists and we go to our study queue. We'll see that this list is also now in the queue, and words that are inside of it will be added when we study on Scrutter. So that's a little bit about how to find lists and how to create lists on Scrutter. Now I'd just like to talk to you about some advanced list settings and how we can use them. So if we go back to a list that we've created, you'll see some options here on the side. We have settings, we have publish, copy, export, quick add, and delete. Now settings. Allows us to choose how this list is used inside of Scrutter. We can see that currently it's set to add. This means that when Scrutter is searching for new words on our account, it will use this list as a reference point and add words from it. If we had been studying this list previously and we don't want new words to go into the list anymore, or come from the list anymore, rather, we can use the review tool. Obviously, there's nothing we haven't studied anything yet, so we don't need to do this quite yet. But it is an option. So we'll keep this on add.、Um, if we want to limit the parts that we see inside of these lists, you can select those right here, and those will toggle them on and off. This just means that when new vocabulary comes up, you will not see any part that you do not have enabled. For so, for example, in our sample list right now, we would only see the writings for these characters. We would only be asked to write everything that we put in here. We would not see the readings or the definitions or the tones for them. Right here, we can control which section.、Uh, The list starts studying from. So this can be useful if you're in the middle of a semester and you have a textbook and you don't want to study、uh, chapters one through five. You just want to start from chapter six. So you could select that section.、Um, down here we have the option to pause adding after each section. This is very good if you're trying to actually use a textbook inside of the classroom.、Um, it forces you to make sure that you get through your current chapter before you move to the next one, and that can be toggled on and off. So for right now, I'm just going to leave everything the same as it is and close that. The next option here is publish list. What this does is, if we were to publish this list, we would see it under the publish lists、um, when we search for it. Copy the next one on here. This allows us to copy a list. Say we wanted to make some changes to it, or we wanted to delete some sections from it. We could use this. Alternatively, if we wanted to Make changes to a list that previously existed on Scrutter. We could do that using the copy button as well. So let's go ahead and search integrated Chinese again. And in this example, let's say that we don't want to study all of the chapters. We just want to focus our studies for today on、uh, Chapter Two, Dialogue One. So now I can copy this list. And now this is my version of the list made by me with this many words inside of it, 
And now if I want to, I can edit the list and I can delete all of the sections I don't want. I can change the name, integrated Chinese chapter two, section dialogue one. I can save my changes. And now I have actually just this list that I can add to my queue and study. Um, I can also go in now, and since this list is my own personal list, I can add words to it. Shoo shoo, uncle. We could add that word into the list, save it, go back, and now we have our extra word inside of the list. And if we add this to our study queue, we'll see that our integrated Chinese chapter is also appearing. Some other things that we can do with our lists um, is control where they are inside of the study queue. And right now, because this is a completely new account, um, you'll see that I haven't made any progress on any of these lists. However, if I wanted to restrict the amount of lists that I'm currently adding words from um, inside of my study queue, one of the things that I can do is use this stop adding feature. Um, and this can be found under the study queue. So if I press stop adding on any one of these lists, you'll see that they move from the adding words from to the reviewing words from. Now what this means in this perspective is that I will never see words from computer terms or sample lists until I restart adding them. But on an account that actually has information inside of it, you could use this to control where your new words are coming from. It's a very useful feature um, if you just have too many lists uh, or you have lists from a previous semester that you're just not using anymore and you just wanna put them on hold. So we can use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart adding these words since I want all of them to come in. Alternatively, if we were just done with the list, we decided, you know what, this list isn't what I need, it's not good for me, um, we can use the X button here and we can remove the list. What this means here is that any words that appear in this list and only this list will not appear in your study queue anymore. So when you're studying on Squitter, um, those words will no longer be present. So we can confirm, remove this list, and it will no longer be in our study queue. Now we can still find that list in my lists. Um, anything that we've created can be there. Uh, anything that's deleted entirely, as I said before, can be found in here. Um, that's everything that there is to know about lists and some of the advanced features of them. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email team at and we'll be sure to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.